Okay. Maggie, you, your company, Sam the Local, does customized itineraries for travel. It sure does. Yeah. Rather than get deep into what the company does, why is Hong Kong a good place for setting up a business like that? Hong Kong's a perfect place for that because there's so much depth to Hong Kong, meaning mm. there's the surface level things that the tourism board markets, right? Like the peak, the big Buddha, but below that there's so much more, so much cultures in the alley and the Dai Pai Dongs and mm. the different types of foods you could eat and um, all the different temples. And so what we wanted to do was give people a way to find all of that and experience all of that. Mm -hmm. And do you find the, the customers for this market, are they local people or are they actually people visiting Hong Kong? Um, we actually have both. Um, yeah. People who move newly moved here to Hong Kong also use our service so that they can get acclimated to Hong Kong. And because when you first get here, there's a lot of shops that are kind of intimidating. Meaning they have all this stuff in the window, and you're like, "What does it actually sell?" You know. Yeah. So we help them acclimate and kind of explore their neighborhood. And then we also have a lot of the travelers. Yeah. And so um, they really enjoy learning about the customs and you know yeah. asking those questions why is that lady pushing a cart full of cardboard or yeah. what was it like to grow up here what's the school system like yeah. here so. what was the inspiration for something like this were you were you a, were you a local person were you born in hong kong or are you are you are you from someplace else um, I was born and raised in California, and then I moved here, uh, right? Yeah, San Francisco. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, and then I moved here at the end of 2011. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then, so after moving here, we got to travel a lot. And um, that's also why Hong Kong's a good place, because it's very centrally located mm -hmm. in Asia. Um, so we traveled a lot, and every time we went somewhere, we were lucky enough to have a local friend mm -hmm. there to you know, show us around and give us recommendations on what to eat, what to see. And we found that that was a really good way for us to travel because one, we didn't want to plan anything and they mm -hmm. handled it all. And uh, we got to learn so much more mm -hmm. and um, you know, hear about their experiences. So after you moved there, what was it like? And how did you get a, uh, adjusted to life there? And you know, I'm a really curious person, so I ask a lot of mm -hmm. questions. So that was really nice. And yeah. um, on the flip side, when people came into Hong Kong, they would do the same thing to us. And they would be like, hey, Maggie, I'm coming to these dates. What should I eat? What should I see? And we would take them around and yeah. show, uh, show them our neighborhood and how we experience Hong Kong. And so then we thought, well, what if people were traveling and they didn't have a local friend? They would miss out on a yeah. huge part of why people travel in the first place is to yeah. see the world and learn about different cultures. So this reminds me, it's like, it's like what you've basically done is you've made a platform out of this conversation I used to hear during brunch. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, I can't make it because... I have to play tour guide, mm, right? Exactly. But, but here in this case, it sounds like, and, and tell me if you think this is true, mm. that there is a market to be made by people's curiosity and wanting to learn about things. Do you oh, find yeah. that that's, that's uh, you find that's like endemic here? Like people really want to learn? Yeah, and I think um, even though Hong Kong's a very Western culture um, and city, there's a lot of Western amenities. There still are a lot of Chinese things that you just wouldn't know about if you mm. didn't have someone telling you about it. And so people are very curious. And we even have business travelers who have been here, you know, five to 10 times. And they're like, wow, I actually never knew that or I never mm -hmm. experienced this. Because, you know, when you come for business, you're very much just eating at the lobby of your hotel yeah. and just going straight to your meeting. So you never get to see anything else around it. Yeah. Um, and so that's what we're hoping to change. That's great. Well, thanks for bringing depth to this great city. Yeah. And thanks Thank for you for having by. me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thanks.